My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. We've got an amazing find right here. Got so much to tell you about it. It's a 68 Rally Sport Super Sport VIN number match 396 350 horse motor, VIN number match Muncie 4 speed, factory Matador red, factory red deluxe interior. All number match red on red Rally Sport deluxe interior Super Sport. Where are you going to find that? Right here is where you'll find it. Visit volocars.com. There's plenty of pictures, full description you can read about the car. That's where you also find the price. Not only on this one, but we do have a few hundred collector cars and they are all for sale. Visit volocars.com. If you enjoy watching the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, click on that bell icon and you'll be notified as the new ones are posted. But right now, join me. Let's go for a spin in this big block four speed. Yeah, I don't know if you realize uh, just how significant this car is. Obviously, Camaros, they're popular. I get a lot of Camaros through here. It's a Rally Sport Super Sport. The Rally Sport means as the hidden headlights up front, uh, which these are converted to electric motors. They zip right open and close. Originally, they're vacuum. The Rally Sport also includes this extra trim. So that's a trim package. Of course, the Super Sport has the raised hood with the velocity stacks on the hood. This one has the spoilers, but it's also a big block motor. It's a 396. They had a 325 and then they had the 350 horse. This is a VIN number match 396, 350 horse motor. And again, like I said, a VIN number match four speed. The more I checked it, it's just like, God, it just, keep, it just keeps on giving. Check the cowl tag. It's Matador Red, never had a vinyl top, red deluxe interior. I'm amazed. I look at a lot of Camaros. I don't take that for granted. This is a rare, special find. Now, since recently, it's had a lot of upgrades. They put some cool wheels, four-wheel disc brakes. There's a classic auto air, air conditioning system, aluminum heads. A lot of upgrades have been made uh, to this original car. Let's start with the bottom. Uh, it's been body off frame restored. These do have a subframe. It was pulled from the car. The whole front end's rebuilt. The tie rod ends, the ball joints, bushings, shocks, all of it looks new. They reinstalled it with new body bushings. Uh, the floors are beautiful. The floors, the inner rockers, even the lower inner quarters, it all looks to me like clean original metal. You look up at the motor, it's still fresh. It's a clean motor. Uh, the mini high torque starter looks brand new. Uh, it's got a heavy duty scatter shield. And then it has the VIN number matched Muncie transmission. Uh, it goes back to a original uh, 12 volt rear end, has a chrome cover and has 331 gears. Fuel system is new. The tank, the straps, the sending unit, the exhaust system looks new. It's Flowmaster mufflers. The tips are kind of tucked up behind the inner fender. They're not hanging down. Uh, it's got a hydraulic clutch. It has new uh, Hirsch shift linkage. Uh, the whole brake system's new. Disc at all four wheels. New brake hoses, new brake lines. It looks like the whole emergency cable system and brackets and everything is all new as well. So I think that sums up the underneath. The body is really clean. I just wiped it down. There are no bubbles along the bottom, no rust blisters, nothing like that. They did put full quarter panels on. I was inside the trunk looking up here. There's no splices. It's at the factory seam, so it's all metal. Bottom of the doors are beautiful. Fenders are all metal. So it's all good, clean metal. The gaps are nice. Things fit nicely. Uh, the paint is beautiful. It's a glossy paint. There's minor imperfections. I see some little dust, you know, little nubs that could be wet sanded a little bit better. Um, but overall, the paint is beautiful, probably equivalent to like what's on a new factory uh, paint job. Uh, it's painted on stripe, smooth to the touch. 
it looks like the trim on the grill is new, the bumpers are new, emblems, marker lights, the chrome stacks, emblems, uh, mirrors, handles, tail lights, gas cap, all that chrome is new. All the stainless looks new. That's all this trim, the gutters, around the windows, all the stainless trim looks new as well. These are 18 inch uh, American Racing wheels. They're new. Nitto Performance Tires still has the nubs on the tread, so they're new. Uh, wheels are a little bit wider in the back. Oh, I also forgot to mention the rear suspension was redone. Uh, it does have lowering blocks, but they also put some air shocks in there if you need to crank it up a little bit if you get four people in there. Uh, but new springs, new uh, bushings in the springs. So that suspension's been redone. Right across here, this is where the factory seams in the quarter panels, and they, they actually put lead there from the factory. There's some little tiny dimples, imperfections, a line of them right there. That's probably the worst of the whole thing. It's not something people are going to walk up and notice. I'm looking for this stuff under these lights. I'm going to see it. If I walked up to this car at a car show out on a sunny day, I'd walk around it and not even notice that at all. The windshield is new. And we will start it up in a minute, and I'll demonstrate the headlights. So the numbers on the front of the engine, the VIN number matches the car. The two-letter code is MX. That's a 350 horsepower, which was optional. Now, since then, I'm sure it's over 400 horse. It has uh, new aluminum heads, new aluminum intake with a big dual-feed Holly carb, a pro billet MSD ignition. It's got ceramic-coated headers. So it's got some performance upgrades to it. The, we'll come back to the motor. The interior is pretty much new from carpet to headliner. A carpet's new, reproduction mats. The deluxe interior is the molded armrest into the door panels. This is all new. The cranks, the handle, the upholstery is new. The headliner, visors, mirror, the working dome light, that's all new. Trunk compartment. It's rock solid metal, spatter painted. This is all nice gloss red, new weather strip. Door jams are nice, the latches are clean, the weather strips are new. The center console looks like it's all brand new. It's got a new hearse shifter with the cue ball uh, knob. The whole dash, all the metal is repainted. It has a new steering wheel, new dash pad. It's a really nice set of uh, custom gauges that are in there. The tachometer and all the gauges, nice custom. Uh, the air conditioning controls. They're modern, they're electronic. You slide them, it's electronic. It's the old cables that get bound up. Also has a really nice uh, Bluetooth uh, retro stereo. It's hands-free, has the voice control. A lot more going on in here uh, before I, got, I stopped talking about it. Whole front of the motor is March billet system. Billet brackets, really nice billet pulleys with a serpentine belt system. Has the mini polished alternator, a mini polished AC compressor. Has a billet timing cover, aluminum water pump. Uh, it has a new aluminum radiator with dual electric fans and a polished overflow bottle. Really nice set of tall polished fin valve covers with matching breather. Because they put the tall valve covers on there, they had to go to a custom uh, wiper motor because it gets in the way, so they put a custom wiper motor in there. Back to the interior. The vents are new. Uh, just excellent condition. It's one I started up. This one kick panel, this plastic kick panel, is kicked and, and beat up right here. That's really the only thing I've seen inside the car and it's missing the seat belt. So we will be installing a full set of new seat belts in here. This is a bad light. See how his headlights open?
Now you can tell that's a hot rod motor. Hear the cam? It sounds like popcorn. That's awesome. I haven't driven this thing yet, but I can't wait to drive. That thing sounds like a beast. So at its core, you got a rare, desirable, number matching car. Someone took the liberty of making those nice upgrades that we all love and appreciate, but you still got a number match car, uh, like I said, at its core. A pretty special car right here. Visit volocars.com. This will sell. Uh, so if you're interested, get to the website. Plenty of ways on there to contact the salesman. I just gave you my honest impression of the car. Uh, if you have specific questions or concerns, feel free to ask. Uh, they'd be more than happy to help you. They'll also help with the financing, delivery, and paperwork. Make that real easy on you. If you enjoy watching the videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you click on the bell icon, you'll be the first to see the next one that's posted. See how nice those headlights work? Thanks for watching.